Well, as mentioned, our woman crush for this Wednesday is Vehonga Wisdom Uyoro, a young woman who believes in making a difference in others' lives, especially women. And she launched her own Instagram TV talk show titled Let's Talk. She now joins us. Wisdom, good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, Nina. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, your name is quite unique. Uh, have you been able to live up to it? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm too young to actually be like, you know, wise, but I am learning to, you know, step into my own and step into the name. <laughs> In your own words, tell us who wisdom is. Well, wisdom, okay, let me just put it together with my first name because I use it together. So in my native, in my native language, it means, Behongan means to teach. So if you put it together, it means to teach wisdom. So I, as you mentioned, I'm an Instagram live talk show host, a creative strategist, as well as a content coordinator. I just make content beautiful on social media. That's just what it means. Um, if I had to describe myself, I would say bubbly, a bit of a perfectionist, uh, weird, quirky, and an introvert, if you don't believe it. <laughs> that is interesting. Uh, tell us about, you know, how, and I guess more importantly, why you conceptualized um, your TV talk, your talk show uh, titled Let's Talk. So it actually started with pageantry. Um, I started off, you know, as a pageant contestant uh, when I used to compete and I needed to find an advocacy that I was truly passionate about and that was truly authentic to me. And I started talking about preconceived notions of beauty and changing uh, stereotypes. So I wanted to be the change I wanted to see in the world. So I started making short videos um, just talking about my journey and it sort of you know, catapulted into this thing where I have conversations with my friends who come from various backgrounds and it sort of became its own, it became its own thing. So that's how it initially started. You, you engage quite a wide variety of women and, and from different backgrounds. What are some of your most memorable conversations you've had thus far? Well, you know, if I have to be honest, I let's say that i have the most memorable conversation because all of them are memorable um i would say i take various aspects from them so i think one of them from the many from all of them that i have would be one of my first uh, bigger interviews which was bianca Peseden host she's from south africa because she was willing to give me the platform and the opportunity to sort of you know um reach out and share her, her journey on my platform it was still a relatively small platform and another one I would say, Janine Hill, who is the CEO and founder of Authentic Leadership. Uh, she was able to really, really tell me about her backstory and we connected deeply. And yeah, there's, there's loads more, but what I want to point out or I'll emphasize is the fact that I take many aspects from every, every conversation. So all of them are really, really inspiring and motivational for me. And do you see yourself moving away from, you know, the Instagram platform to perhaps mainstream television with your talk show? Honestly, I, I had to think about this one because I did get, did get questions. I was like, do you want to turn into a podcast or how, which direction do you want to grow? And I always say that, you know, I started the platform and I, you know, developed this Instagram family I wouldn't want to leave it per se. I think I would want to develop it, add on to it. So I wouldn't mind exploring television or radio, um, but I would never really, you know, um, take away that element. It's, it's just very unique and very special to me. Yeah. You've also been selected as one of uh, the judges for Miss T Namibia, and in fact, one of the youngest judges. Talk to us about that and, and your journey. I, when, initially when I heard that, because someone who spoke about that, that I was the youngest, I didn't actually think about it like that. And so it was really, really humbling and having to see young, confident, bold, inspiring ladies. I mean, at 18 or 16, I couldn't even step on the stage and, and walk on a ramp. Um, but it is a very, let me say, full circle moment because 
even the last talk journey started with pageantry and having to be a judge, it's been amazing, um, humbling, humbling and inspiring to say the least. So what's next for introverted petite wisdom Muyoro? Well, I always say thriving in my uniqueness. Uh, that's something that I recently learned how to do because sometimes you tend to figure out your purpose or, or what what is meant for you. Uh, so I figured out okay, it's live talk show hosting and, and, and being the change that I want to see in the world. So I just want to hone into that, hone into those skills and, and just be the best version of myself. I think that would be it. Just lastly, before I let you go, you know, what's your message to other young girls out there who also want to help, you know, uh, fight various stereotypes that women face in their own unique ways? You know, this is something that I have learned in high school, and this was actually my biology uh, teacher, Mrs. Fenter, um, if she's hearing me now, hi. Um, but she said it's, it's easy to put in and it's difficult to be different. So you know those quirky um, nurse of yours, the the weirdness, the the things that you feel like oh, I'm ashamed to show this off to my peers or to my friends. Those are the things that make you unique. Those are the things that really, really set you apart from everyone else. And those are the things that really define your purpose. So hone into that quirkiness. Do not worry about what anyone has to say. Um, at first, when when you are you know honing into that, it's weird. You feel like ah, no one understands me, no one understands me, no one gets it. Or you honing into something that you really pack about with your one or two likes. But really, really um, keep at it because that's that's something that will really, really define you as a person and define your purpose. Wisdom, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for joining us. All the best with your future endeavors and with the success of your talk show, Let's Talk. Thank you so much, Nina. <laughs> That was a young Namibian lady, uh, Wisdom uh, Muyoro, speaking to us on her talk show, Let's Talk, and also uh, other issues uh, concerning, um, you know, her growth. That she's also the youngest judge for Miss Teen Namibia uh, this year. That also brings us to the end 